this morning, our Leslie Organ, our church warden, is going to um, explain to us how she used to wind up the clock. Now, when, when was it um, you used to do the winding, Leslie? Oh, George, it was in the early 60s, um, when I was considerably younger and stronger than I am now. Um, and uh, the, it used to be, um, Tom used to be the clock winder, um, and we used to dread him going on holiday or even being sick, because it meant then that um, either myself or Robert, one of the church warden's sons, um, or a couple of the, of the bell ringers, used to have to come along and step into his shoes, so yes. to speak. So, so how often was it that the clock needed winding? Well, it, it needed winding on a daily basis. So it's quite a commitment um, from the clock winder. Yes. So, so was it very hard work to, to wind the clock up? Very hard work, because it meant having climbed the 52 steps to get here in the first place, um, we then had to move the boxes, which, are, which the bell ringers stand on to ring the heavier bells. So we had to move those over um, towards to the clock here. And, um, and then, because uh, there was no health and safety as such in those days, so we used to have pile them one on top of the other, and then have to put the crank handle onto the, uh, the winding system, uh, which I'll mm, demonstrate in a minute. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and off we go, but it was extremely hard work. And, and of course there are, there are three sections to the clock, aren't there? Each one has to be wound. Yes, indeed. And each one's got quite a hefty weight, which had to be wound to a height of 30 feet above the floor. <laughs> so that's a lot of winding. A lot of winding, yes. And as I said, you know, a great commitment by the clock winder in those days. So, um, you know, he was extremely relieved when there was sufficient money found to, to automate the clock. Yeah. So maybe you could give, a, give us a, a demonstration of how he used to wind it. <laughs> yes, okay. Now, of, of course, we, we can't actually turn the handle today because, because when the auto winding was installed, that may, then made it impossible to turn the handle to do manual winding. So we just put the handle in position and you'll just have to imagine um, Leslie winding it round and round and round and the wet, heavy weight going up 30 feet up above the floor. The uh, crank handle in itself is quite heavy, yeah. obviously. Um, yes. And you can see by the way in which my arms are outstretched at this height um, that we, we used to have to go right out there. There's quite a long... Round. Quite a long throw to it, oh, isn't absolutely, there? Absolutely. My goodness, I don't. And I can't remember. I have to say um, <laughs> exactly how long it took. No. It, you know, it was a fair old time. Well, thank so, you, Leslie. I, I think that's explained it. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, George. <laughs>